Apple has released watchOS 26 developer beta four. This one came in at just at one gigabyte on my series 10. The build number is 23R5317G. Still a long ways away, I feel like, before we get that final release. I do expect that the public beta will probably be out this week or early next at the latest, because we're right there. Apple said in July, and we don't have many days left of July, so usually, it does come out like the first one usually comes out shortly after a developer beta so I, like i said probably maybe friday maybe monday somewhere around that time range we should have the first public release but i am going to say i highly recommend you do not download the public or any beta of the watch os because if anything goes wrong or you just don't like it the only way to get it back to a non-beta is to send it into Apple. So let's go ahead and take a look at this and see what all is in this build. So first off, we're gonna go ahead and lock the screen. It is the lock screen because they did update that in the last build and it looks pretty similar. You can kind of see if you look at it just right, it kind of looks like it's connected like diagonally, but it's just the way the glass glare effect that they did looks maybe they tweaked it a little bit it doesn't look as much at least not on camera as it does in person so maybe they tweaked the the lines a little bit there but overall it still looks basically the same another area that they keep updating and changing is the control center so you can see this is the way i've kind of laid mine out i have a note one right up top so i can quickly create a new note like a voice note which is awesome and you have the edit button down here, which then gives you the plus button now. We go. So we can go and go through. Apps are gonna have the ability to add their own kind of control center widgets right inside this, which is gonna make this thing way more powerful. I can't wait until we actually have ones that work. We're still gonna have to wait until pretty much release before we get that with third-party apps, unless you can get on a beta with one, but you're probably not gonna see one anytime soon, but I still am really enjoying the control center. I love the notes feature and the quick, I'll just even show you right here. So all I have to do is just tap this, it automatically opens up the new notes app and it will automatically start. Now, right now it's on type, but I could have quickly switched it. Normally it is, I think the last time I used the keyboard, it was a type version of it. So it does default to the original keyboard, the last keyboard that was used, but it's still really nice because as you can see, it's automatically just transcribing as I speak. And then once I hit done, it's gonna save this as a new note. We have some that I have pinned right here, but if I go right here, this is the one that we just created. So that's gonna be really powerful. I really love the notes app. I really love that being on the Apple Watch and just that quick access in the control center is also a really nice feature. One app that I have been using a lot is the Workouts app, and I really like this new UI, just the way it scrolls through, how it shows you the one above and the one below until you stop and then it goes full view. The Workout Buddy has also been really nice, so you can kind of just turn him on and off right here. Looks like in this build, it, for some reason, it turned him off and does not let me turn him on. It says it has to be connected to my phone. So for some reason, it must be connected to my other watch since I had it off last. So let me go ahead, yep. So if I go and manually switch this back over on the watch app itself, you can see I have two right here. So I can switch it back to the Hermes watch. And then once it connects, I can probably come back out of here and hopefully, Still doesn't want to turn on right away, maybe because it's not physically on my wrist. But there was also a new voice for the workout buddy. So I really want to get to this. Let's go ahead. Oh, there it goes. You see it started, of course, right when I turned it off. So we've had a couple different voices, but I believe in either beta two or beta three, I didn't really use beta two. They added a third voice. So let's go through the voices because I feel like that would be nice. So the one I've been using is two and it's the guy voice. Way to get your workout started. And let me just go in and turn the volume up because I think I also have this currently set to the like automatic volume. So automatically adjust volume. Let's go ahead and turn that off, turn them all the way up and come back. Way to get your 
starts. Still not very loud. And we'll go through one. Way to get your workout started. So that's the girl voice. I'm not sure what three is, so let's find that out together. Way to get your workout started. And I'm going to bring these closer to the mic so you can actually hear them better. So this will be voice two. Way to get your workout started. And we have voice one. Way to get your workout started. And the new voice three. Way to get your workout started. So those are really fun. I like the voices. I think they're really nice. And the way the workout buddy stuff works is it basically just kind of gives you info. So you can actually set the info you want it to like talk to you during. So you can do a time. So I can turn on time alerts and say every 10 minutes. Just give me an update and let me know I've been walking for 10 minutes or running or whatever activity you're doing. You can do heart rate. So that's like the ranges. Then he'll probably, he'll, she, whatever voice you choose, will probably talk to you more often. I really don't like that one. Like I just need a little bit of updates here and there. I don't need a constant, like how's everything going. You can also do split. So every time I hit a mile, the voice will come on and just kind of give me an update there as well. So Workout Buddy has just been one of those features that I'm enjoying way more than I expected. When I saw the announcement, it wasn't something that I was too excited about, but I am really, really enjoying it. It's just that nice little added touch. And they do talk about the music you're listening to. So if you do listen to music, you can have it picked for you or you can choose a playlist yourself. And I gotta say the picked for you is working really well as well. I'm hearing some songs that I like and some songs that I've never heard before, but they are still in that same genre that I like to listen to. So it's doing really well there as well. So, and the Workout Buddy has been a nice improvement that seems to keep getting better and better as the betas progress. Go ahead, I don't expect to see anything really new with watch faces, but we'll, we'll take a look here and see if there's anything new in here. Looks like it's gonna reboot on me, there we go. So we got new watch faces. Of course, we got a new photos watch face, basically the same thing, but it has that glass look to it. And then we have just the old ones that we've already had, so nothing new there. Um, and we can go through these, but let's go out of here. They did have the categories if you haven't seen that yet. Now all the watch faces are separated in categories, which is really nice. I really love, just makes it a lot easier to find the style that you want. You can go into all watches and actually scroll through. There were a couple watch faces that were removed. One being the Toy Story. I've made multiple videos where I mentioned each one that was removed and I'll just put them on the screen right now, the watch faces that were actually removed from these builds. I think there was up to like five watch faces possibly that have been removed. Um, Mickey Mouse is still there. He still talks. It's 41, good afternoon. But overall, everything seems pretty responsive. We still have a little bit of a glass look to these icons, which I'm really liking those. You can switch to list view if you want. All that is still functioning and looks great. Let me scroll back down to the end to get back to grid view. I prefer grid view. What are you? Do you like grid view or list view? Let me know in the comments down below because I'm curious on how many list view people we have. My wife uses list view but I'm just not a fan of it. Everything seems pretty responsive, like apps are opening pretty quickly. No issues there. Um, so I'm really liking that. It seems like this is a the most solid update that they've had so far. As you can see, Siri is still the old Siri. It's not the smart version. So still hope that we get that on the Series 10. I don't know, it might be a Series 11 only with hopefully more processing power to actually have some more AI. The only thing I think that we have AI wise is going to be still just the summarized notifications when you have multiple, but I'm not expecting too much on this watch, at least not until the final release. I did want to say it seems like that the contact thing has been fixed. In the last version, I lost a lot of the images for my contacts on my phone and on my watch. And that seems to be fixed. Everything seems to be coming through just great. So that is nice to see. And as I said, this is an Hermes watch and I'm not having any issues with the watch face crashing and all that stuff like beta two. So they definitely fixed that in beta three and they have that on the radar now to actually check, which is nice to see. 
But overall, it seems pretty great. Let's go ahead and just check. Obviously, this is way too soon to really talk about battery life and how it's doing because, I mean, it's basically just a fresh install. But I can do an updated video if you'd like to see one. So I'm at 66%. That happened kind of during the install. I think I had it up to about 80% before the install happened. So it dropped pretty drastically, which is kind of normal. After an install, the battery is always worse. You got to give it a day or two to settle out. Battery health on this watch is still, I believe, at 100% maximum capacity. So that's great to see. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Are you gonna install the beta when it comes to the public on the watch? Or did I warn you enough to tell, talk you out of it if you were considering it? Let me know in the comments below. If you wanna see anything else with the watch, also let me know. And I'll see you in the next one. God bless.